Hey everybody, this is Dan Starr with Excel VBA is Fun. Uh, I've got a quick question from uh, somebody named Claudio. And he said, hey, how do I make a workbook to where uh, if they try the password, you know, on the third time, if the third time they fail on the password, it'll close the workbook. So let's work toward that end really quick. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and I'm going to save it one moment. Okay, this workbook is going to be called Password Three Times until further notice. It'll be in the Dropbox Shared folder, so if you're subscribed to that for free, you will automatically have downloaded that by the time I'm done talking, or already have it by now. So anyway, here's what we do. Alt F11, let's do a workbook open. Let's click on the This Workbook object, and we'll go to Workbooks, and we have the Workbook Open thing by default, but you can choose a different one. Workbook open, okay. When this workbook opens, what do we want to do? We want to have an input box and trap that into a variable, whatever. So whatever your password is, let's let's say PW, so that'll be the variable that contains the password. PW equals input box and I'll just say password please. Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, so if PW is not, okay, what's our password going to be? How about hello? If password is not hello, then um, so we have to have a counter that counts to three if it's going to be the third time that it failed. So let's make a range really quick here. And if, okay. So on the let's make a range in like a hidden sheet. Here's a sheet. Let's make a range. How about cell A1? We're gonna say um, it'll be zero at first, and then it'll be one, and then two, and then three. Okay. So let's name that range in the names manager here. We'll call it uh, counter. We'll say C N T R. That's our counter. Okay. I'm gonna click hide. CNTR. You help me remember that now. Okay, Alt F11. We're back here. So we're going to say CNTR equals zero every time the workbook opens. So the counter is back to zero. So if the password is not hello, then how about this? Uh, the range that is called CNTR equals CNTR plus one. So now it'll be one since they failed. And then it'll be two, and then it'll be three. And at the very end of that, if the range called CNTR equals is how about is greater than or equal to three, it couldn't really get greater than, but whatever, is greater than or equal to three, then this workbook dot close. And then there's other things you can do here, but save changes. How about Save changes equals, how about false, because we, we don't want to save anything that's happened. End if. Okay, so let's try that. I'm going to hit exit, or I'm going to save, excuse me, not exit. Let's do the workbook open event by, uh, I'll close it and reopen it, just for fun. Here we go. Uh, what do we call this one? Password three times. Okay, I'm opening it now. So... Here it is. Password, please. I'm going to type uh, 123. That's not the password. The password is hello. I'm going to hit click OK. Oh, whoops. I forgot to say. For it to loop back. OK, so hey. Well, we're learning, aren't we? But I know that counter should be t uh, 1 now because it's counter is itself plus 1. So, but OK, so how about if it's if it is not hello, then and then go to password go to pass and then pass is going to be right here so we're looping right back to where they were and uh, if it is equal to hello then it'll just go to the end oh. well, let's see how that let's see how that works I may have not thought it all through just yet well, let's see. Um, we'll go ahead. Alt F11. We'll just we'll just uh, 
hit F8, F8, so counter is equal to zero, no password equals input box. Password please, one, two, three, hit enter. So if PW is equal is not equal to hello and it isn't, it's one, two, three, F8, then the counter equals counter plus one. And we'll go to password, meaning we'll loop right back here. So let's see here. And then we'll actually take this and put it up there. right before all that. Okay. So, password please. How about we'll put 123 again. And counter is counter plus 1. Let's try it one. If counter is greater than or equal to 3, it's not. So it's not going to close the workbook yet. Here's the last time. Last try. How about 123? I'm going to hit OK. If password is not hello, then counter equals counter plus 1. Go back to the password thing here. If counter is greater than or equal to 3, well, it is equal to 3 now. So this workbook.close save changes equals false. And voila, you now have a working thing here. So let's do that again in real time, okay? I hope I saved that last bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, I did not save that last part. Well, goodness, now I got a never ending loop. Here, let's go to Task Manager and we'll go to Excel in Task. And I'm going to hold Shift while I double click here so that, um, so that my, I guess I didn't hold it long enough, did I? Oh boy. Let's go back to Task Manager here. I will actually hold shift the entire time until this workbook is opened. Okay, we should be okay now. Alt F11. See, this part needs to be moved over here. So that it'll see if the count. Okay, that should be fine. I'm going to hit save. Now, we'll reopen this workbook and we should be good to go. Okay, so they want the password. If I type hello, then we're fine. Now I'm not I'm not gonna save that if I, I'm gonna open it again. Now here we go. Here's the real deal right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was our third try. So sorry, we have just closed the workbook. Great question, Claudio. Thanks for asking. God bless you guys.